Hey, how's it going, gentlemen? Welcome back to the Sonox channel. Today, we're going to be reviewing the Hyakushiki Crash right here. Rather saying that this is based on the Hyakushiki, I think this is based on the Hyakushiki Kai. Because first, you can see the design element at the surface right here. Most of them look like Hyakushiki Kai. And two, because when I look at the runners, most of the parts is from the Hyakushiki Kai. And also, although the frame is uses the Hyakushiki 2.0, but as I said, uh, the premium Bandai Hakashiki High is just reuse the Hakashiki 2.0 frame. So, um, from the frame is based on Hakashiki 2.0. From the outside is based on the Hakashiki Kai. But if you ask me about the value of this Gampa, I do have some question about it because right now you're looking at it. Let's be honest, this finish looks really good. And by the way, I didn't screw up any decals. Yay! But anyway. Back to the topic, why I said that I need to question about the value of this Gampla because what I'm about to show you is a mountain, I mean a mountain of leftovers. There's over a hundred pieces got left out in this Gampla kit, which is why I'm starting to question the value of the Gampla itself because you know most of the money that you uh most of the money that you've thrown out with your credit card or with your bank card is actually going to waste. What I mean by waste is, yes, of course, because, you know, most, you may seem that most of the part looks new or, you know, it's from the Hakushi Kai, but when you're looking at the leftovers, it's, it's a mountain of it, trust me. And, you know, as I said, I'm not a person that play customization. So what do I do with those leftovers? Do I just throw them in the trash or do I sell it to others who play customization? I really don't know. Now, I'm going to stop talking too much and I will actually show you how crazy is the leftovers. Now, let's look at the leftovers. No, I'm not joking with you. This is how much leftovers there are. Because if you're looking at this, most of the parts is still attached with this. Like such a, for example, this Hakushiki Kai right here, the legs part got left out. And then for the A-runner right here, because the torso design is based on the Hyakushiki Kai, which is why the original Hyakushiki torso part got left out. If we're looking at the C-Runner, C-Runner is pretty fine. It's still got a small parts left. And then this is where it starts getting the most waste because the G part right here, you can literally look at it. The wings, the shoulders, and basically the arms part are completely wasted. And then for the K1 runner, it's really even crazier. Look at this, how many parts got left out? Look at this. And now you're looking at this like seriously what can i do with all these leftovers i'm not a guy that can that play customization or do or do any kind of gbwc uh painting projects or competition projects i'm not those guys who will play around with this part so what am i supposed to do with these parts right here it's a mountain of them because i'm i'm not even bothering to count it because there's a there's definitely over 100 pieces got left out so my suggestion is well my suggestion is you can either cut them down which is very time consuming or you can just throw it away i don't really don't really i don't really know what can i do actually so should i throw it out or should anyone interested so i can sell it to you i really don't know what can i do with all this plastic waste right here because as i said i'm not playing customization so what am I supposed to what, what am I supposed to do with all these level four parts right here? All right, back to the review. So now we're gonna start looking from the head. So this time the head looks really similar to Hakushiki, or in my opinion, it looks exactly like the one on Hakushiki. This time the head only contained two brand new parts, which is the top of the head and the antenna right here. They are both brand new, but honestly, I couldn't really tell the difference. So fine. Okay, now let's look at the movement first. So first, lift up, lift down is really amazing, the angle. And then, you know, moving around, it can move around 360 as well. It's pretty nice for the uh, head articulation. Let's look at the torso now. The torso, um, the frame is brand new. It's from the Hakushiki Crash Runner, but from the outside is the Hakushiki Kai. So basically, this torso, you can sort of say it's a mixture between Hakushiki Crash and Hakushiki Kai. But unfortunately, this time for the Hakushiki Crash, there's no feature of the cockpit door this time. But they still kept the feature of where you can slide the uh, the side of the cockpit, just slide it a bit and then, you know, open the cockpit out. They still features that, but unfortunately, as I said, there's no cockpit door. So 
you can't open anything it's just a very lame torso right here so you know for the movement um it's moving around like that just 45 degrees it's a pretty average it's a pretty average movement right here nothing impressive let's take a look at the arms right here the arms the frame is hakushiki kai and the shoulders although they claim to be brand new but actually it looks really similar to the hakushiki kai and down at the arms right here is brand new as well and of course the hands is just from the hakushiki 2.0 so just briefly looking at the articulation right here so first uh 360 movement is possible but the shoulders is pretty big so that's why sometimes they will pop out and then for the shoulders it can lift up individually and then this small piece at the sh side of the shoulder right here can be moved as well the bending angle is it's not really that impressive but is sort of acceptable is a little bit over than 90 degrees and then for the articulation on the whole arm is pretty good you, you can rotate around and then for the for the arm so you can lift up at 90 degrees and then you know you can also features a joint for you to move to the front down at the hand right here so the thumb and the index finger is individual join and then the rest will be sticking together just like most of the mgs but this time they features a double joint on the fingers where you can uh, further move the fingers so it helps you to grab the weapons let's look at the waist right here i think the waist is based on the hakushiki kai based on what i saw in the instruction menu talk about the movement so first the front skirt can lift up at a pretty fine angle so it's around 180 but the front skirt is a ball joint so sometimes when you're moving it it will pop out the side skirt can lift as well but again it's a ball joint it's very easy to fall out i really don't like this i really dislike this kind of design the back skirt can lift a bit as well there's two beam savers on it and the beam saber effect part of course is provided they are pretty long and it really looks like chopsticks let's talk about the legs right here so the legs right here in there there's a there's another joint for you to move the legs you can fix the legs position is pretty good and then you know for the moving though so first kicking to the side is pretty nice kicking to the front is pretty nice kicking to the back is possible as well the whole bending looks really nice and but sometimes i do have something to complain is that the legs reattraction looks you know it's not look it's not looking weird it's it felt really weird because sometimes you cannot sort of like the feeling it felt really weird i don't know how to explain it to you but you sort of can't retract the legs back in a very comfortable way it's sort of like sometimes you would go over it and it just felt really weird i don't know what i'm saying but it felt really weird now i do want to tell you something about this specific piece of armor right here without the glue this piece will be probably falling off every second when i'm touching the legs and i really recommend you to glue this uh, piece of armor right here at the side of the legs because they're not really um clip it in pretty well and they will just constantly fall out so just glue it in and it will be fine and then for the legs down here the the feet for the feet down here it, uh, it's the individual move right here so it is pretty good and then you know you can move around as well the tip of the feet can be moved as well and then the whole and then the whole big joint right here you can move as well and it's pretty nice to see that you can see the details right here where the joint is actually moving and it looks really nice and turn it to the back right here we have two small pieces of armor that you can move uh the first one will be this small piece of armor right here that you can move as well and then the second one will be this big pieces of armor right here you can move as well let's take a look at the backpack right here so first these two thruster tanks right here they are from the hakushiki kai and you know the movement is just moving up and down and then you know you can move it front and back as well it's pretty straightforward i do forget to mention that the back skirt beams of a rack you can move up and you can move down as well i did forget to mention that now let's take a look at the the Hakushiki wings right here so the m back system so you can move you know move around move up move down and you know you can adjust the position as well but they but the joint is pretty easy to fall out when you try to adjust the wings so you need to be careful and then the wings is movable as well so the movement on the wings is pretty free all right let's finish the last accessory right here so it's this beam rival right here this rival though is half new what i mean by half new is so if you take a look at this rival right here you can see that it's two parts which is the back right here and the front right here the back here is the original hyakushiki rival and at the front right here is the new parts and then 
up here we can see the you know sort of like a side wings for the rival right here uh the concept is pretty cool i pretty like this you know as you can see this contain movement and at the top right here this is the shield piece as well that's why i said the um this rival design have a little bit similar to the one on the Gundam X because you can serve it as a shield or you can serve it as a rival, which is a pretty unique idea. And this shield right here, you can you can put it onto the gunpla. All you have to do is just taking off all three pieces of it and then just reassemble it. So just quickly snap it on like this, and you know, here you go. This is a shield, and you can put it at the back of the forearm. Now, you can see what the rival looks like without those shield parts right here. But honestly, I prefer to have something to cover because these holes right here looks really ugly if you don't have anything to cover it up. So I honestly prefer to have the shield attached on the rival. Oh, by the way, guys, if you try to put the weapons on the hands, here is the, uh, here's the plug right here. You can plug it onto the hands and then you can just simply hold it like that. And on the hands right there, there's a spot for you to flip out to plug this in. So for the beam saber, it's exactly the same. So just telling you that how to put on the weapons. Anyway, guys, this is the end of the review. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure you leave your like on my videos and subscribe to my channel. Hit the low bell next to the subscribe button so you can get notified whenever I upload a new video. Um, if you ask me to talk something about this gamla, I would say that yes, it looks pretty good, but I think the amount of plastic that's been wasted is uh, it's very hard to judge because you know most of I think most of the most of most of your money if you try to purchase this item, most of your money just went to the plastic waste because as I shown you, that's a lot of leftover parts. So you need to judge it yourself. Like, are you ready to you know having like uh? 30 or 40 percent of your money wasted on that plastic leftover right there that's for people who don't play customization if you are someone who will cut off the parts and then you know do some uh, custom build definitely is a fine but i'm just saying that for people who don't play who don't mess around who don't really do some custom build it felt like more just it felt like wasted it, it doesn't feel it doesn't felt like have any purpose at all so, you know, you just have to decide that. So this this will be the end of the review. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next review. Goodbye.